These medical staff say they were only doing their jobs, treating the hundreds of wounded protesters during the crackdown on pro-democracy demonstrations in March. Many of them were arrested and now face trial on charges that range from causing the death of two people to promoting efforts to topple Bahrain's monarchy. Al Jazeera interviewed a number of medics before they were taken away by police. These people were only they include these men, and the Dr. Hassan Daif and Dr. Ali Al Akri, who was reportedly arrested while he was performing an operation on a patient. <laughs> Bahrain's justice minister says medics committed crimes. Human rights organizations who were there but have since been banned from returning say the government has mounted a systematic campaign against doctors nurses and other medical staff who treated the protesters. The country's biggest hospital was taken over by the military on March the 16th. Al Jazeera spoke to staff there who described colleagues dragged away by masked police along with injured protesters who were pulled from their beds. And the raids on medical centers have continued. A number of staff who were detained and released last month spoke to Al Jazeera. They describe being blindfolded, beaten and forced to make false confessions on camera or sign pieces of paper which they couldn't even see. These trials are being held in military courts. Rights organizations say the accused have had little or no access to lawyers. The state of emergency was lifted on June the 1st, but no one ever predicted that the crackdown on Bahrain's pro-democracy movement would extend to the men and women who saved the lives of those who suffered the most. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.